Today we ask the age old question. Will it pop pie? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Now many times you've probably been encouraged to step out of your comfort zone, but don't worry, we are not gonna ask you to do that today. In fact, we cordially invite you to sink your teeth into your comfort zone. We're talking about pot pies because we can think of no other food that is quite as comforting. Yeah, it's like eating a blanket made of crust with hot savory stuff inside. Mm -hmm. But I am not entirely sure that we're gonna stay in the pot pie comfort zone because we're about to venture to the fringe and maybe beyond what makes a great pot pie. It's time for <laughs> Will, Will It Pot Pie? pie? Our first pie can be eaten morning, noon, and night. It's got protein, it's got carbs, but it's also got maple syrup. Introducing the chicken and waffles pot pie, or as we call it, the pork fest. <laughs> okay, Josh, what did you do? So we're starting off pretty simple here. We got syrup gravy, we have boneless fried chicken, we have a pie crust waffle hybrid, we call it a poffle. Wow, did you invent that? <laughs> yeah, we did. All right, all right. <laughs> here we go, let's get a look inside this, oh. Wow. Oh, oh, Lord. Good gracious. I mean, it looks like an apple pie. Oh, and it just smells like chicken and waffles. Let me get in there. And I'm gonna and there's a little th bit of dip into you want, my hot you want sauce. Oh, you got some? Oh, is, yeah, is this hey, Tabasco? We... Where, do, where do you think the best chicken and waffles are? I mean, I'm a fan of Roscoe's. I love Roscoe's, man. Roscoe's. Other people have waffles, chicken and waffles, but they, they oh, make man. it, it's like a gimmick there. Yeah. But at Roscoe's, it's it it's the it's the real deal. I get both smothered and gravy. Of course, this is good. Mm. I mean, this isn't just good. Mm. This is marketable. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna go in for another bite. I'm, I'm gonna add some of the some of the hot sauce. That's some good hot sauce too. What kind of hot sauce is that? Oh, we made it from scratch. For real? No, it's Red Rooster. <laughs> okay. About to say. Is that Louisiana hot sauce? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna save that for later because I'm gonna go back in there because oh, I can't imagine I, anything I'm, getting better than that. I want the people of the world to know to have this. What? Chicken and waffles. Will it pop pie? Yes. yes. When you think of Subway sandwiches, you probably think of a basic lunch on the go and a ton of mayo, even though you asked for just a little bit, but what if you wanted to be basic at dinner time too? Okay. Well, you could still just go to Subway or you could eat the Subway pot pie, or as we like to call it, weeknight dinner with dad. Look at this. Now that's a, there's something different happening on top here, Josh. Is it, oh yeah. What'd you do? Well, this is, this is a long one. It got a little bit involved. You have nine grain honey oat pie crust on the <laughs> insides are a combination of cold cut combo and meatballs. We have Southwest sauce, sweet onion teriyaki sauce, lettuce, tomato, onion, olives, banana peppers, green peppers, jalapenos, and then of course a chocolate chip cookie for dessert. Oh, there's a, where's the chocolate chip cookie? Well, that's for you to find out. Look, I just reached in and pulled a meatball out perfectly. <laughs> There's a lot going on here. I want to. I want to. Maybe even too much for me. I want to explore what's going on. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna dump half of this pie into. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you gotta dig if you want the cookie. Well, I mean, this looks like a a supreme pizza disaster. Really, this is a freaking. This is chaos. This is chicken pot chaos. Yeah, you, I uh, wanted to pour some Powerade on there, but that got vetoed. <laughs> Yeah, Josh, you know. I haven't even tasted it yet. Somewhere along I'm just the so process, confused. just the brainstorming process, you should have just pulled back a little bit. Subway's got too many options on that buffet line. Um, this is, I mean, the way it all came together is in a way that I, I do not enjoy. I'm, it's it's taking link at approximately seven minutes just to get a bite of it, to give you some idea of how complicated yep, it is. It's horrible. <laughs> yeah, there you go, just waiting for you to get on the, that train. So, pretty simple. Subway, will it pot pie? No. no. You're probably asking yourself, what kind of people would procreate these pot pies? Well, maybe the answer is the Mythical Kitcheneers. I think that is the answer. That is the answer. Check out the Mythical Kitchen channel because Mythical Chef Josh, there you are. Hi. Nicole and Trevor, they can see you've all kind of crazy culinary creations and show you how to make some of the stuff that's made here that we get to experience. You can make it and experience it yourself. Plus they got a podcast, Hot Dog is a Sandwich, where they discuss your controversial food opinions uh, available wherever podcasts are found. So check out all that stuff. Check it out. Good work happening over there. Yeah. Proud of us. Okay, so proud it's hard you. to imagine leaving a Chili's restaurant. I'm proud of us. With any leftover baby back ribs, but 
What if you do have a few spares laying around? Wouldn't you want to put them in a pie? Of course you would. Yes. So let's take a look at the pie that we're calling the, hi, welcome to Chili's pot pie. It's got a bone in it. Why? It's a baby back rib bone. It's actually let steam escape the pie. And oh, it's, there's it's a fun. functional part. So if I pull this out, steam is just gonna whoosh. Yeah, yeah, it's a functional bone. It's a steam bone. Your bone is functional. A lot of people don't like to be reminded of where the meat came from, but this is really just staring you right in the face. It's the first thing you see. Yeah, you can use it as a fork too. I will not. Okay. <laughs> so what's in here? So inside we got a bunch of baby back rib meat. We have a barbecue sauce gravy. We have their skillet white queso and it's topped with, as you've seen, a rib bone and also awesome blossom petals. And look at that bite. That is just oh, wow. wonderful. Oh wow. That, wonderful, so wonderful, wonderful work, Josh. Um, and I haven't I haven't been to a Chili's and so on. My first date was at a Chili's with my wife. Chili's, if you're doing like a meet your mate campaign, like I'm in. I'm in. Matter of fact, I'll mate at a Chili's as part of the I as, as part that. of the integration. Well how, I think the uh, how is this? Whoops. I think the QC people with the brand might have an issue with that. Mm. Um, well, it's good. I mean, it's smoky. It's bread. It's got rib meat in it. It's mm. got barbecue sauce. It's also got a little bit of bones still in there. Yeah, there's bones in there. I took Shepard to a Chili's uh, on a recent trip. I was like, mm. I know we typically don't go to we don't go to like Chili's, you know, because your mom and you know, she's hard to please. So, but she's not here. So we're gonna go. We're gonna go to Chili's, and it was like. There was just all, you could see it in his eyes. Everything that was happening, he was like, this has been available all along? They really sharpened it to a point. Yeah, I mean, we got like four kinds of ribs between the two of us. But they don't have a pot pie, and this level of comfort is something that they should they should do. They should have these to go. You know they got that door on the side, that mysterious to-go door. They should just be throwing pot pies left and right out of there. That's where you can mate. We can open the door up and you'll be mating right there. I can see it right now. I'll shoot the commercial. Huh, what, you, you wanna see something go? <laughs> Woo! Rhett, if this is your way to watch, it's not gonna work. Chili baby back ribs. Will they pop pie? Yes. yes. We may be avoiding state fairs, theme parks, and sporting events for a while longer, but those aren't the only places you can have a corn dog, right? which I know you love. I do. You can also have them in your very own pot pie, or as we like to call it, former hot dog on a stick employee, Matt Carney pot pie. Yeah, so I'm fully expecting that I'm gonna enjoy this just like a corn dog. Okay, okay, Josh, what did you fully do here? Fully expecting. Well, we made a we made a corn a cornbread crust. There it is. That's perfect. That's how we intended it to be eaten. Look at that. So we've made a cornbread crust inside our filled with a bunch of uh, mini cocktail wieners. We did a ketchup and mustard gravy, and then of course. Garnish with a little ketchup and mustard. Sauce. I love corn dogs. Ketchup and mustard gravy, huh? And no offense to Matt Carney, I know you're. Matt Carney, are you are you on the line? Hello, sir. Yeah. Okay. No offense, Matt Carney, but uh, the corn dog castle at Disneyland has a better corn dog than hot dog on the stick. Right or wrong? I've never. I wouldn't be caught dead at the corn dog castle. Did I? Are, are you allegiant to us or hot dog on a stick? Oh. Mythical till the day I die, or we go out of business and hot dog on a stick is hire me. <laughs> the mustard is strong with this one. Did I ever let you have a bite of my hot dog sandwich growing up? No, I never asked. Hmm. I wish you had. What What was your hot dog sandwich that you never offered me? It was just hot dogs cut lengthwise on white bread with ketchup and mustard. Josh, there's just too much, too much mustard, homie. No. Well, I think Matt Carney, you're looking at this. Does this meet your standard? How close is Josh? Can you hear me? No, he can't hear you. No, he's okay, in the no. other room. No, we went through a specific training on how to make our corn dogs. We hand stomped our lemonade, three different types of flavors: cherry, oh, lime, oh, oh, sugar, fruit. Okay, you don't have to sell us on it. You're okay, not, he's not answering the question. This he's is just talking this about is where not he used an to work. application for hot dog on a stick. Corn dog, <laughs> will it pop pie? Yes. No! I mean, in general, in theory it will, it's just not this execution. <laughs> so, no, it doesn't. Corn dog, will it pop by with this mustard? No. no! Not all pickled things are cucumbers. There's pickled eggs, pickled peppers, pickled herring, even pickled pig's feet 
Are all those pickled things good on their own? Well, it depends. Are they all good together? Probably not, but we're gonna try it. Please bring forth the pickled pot pie, also known as the pickled pot Why, Josh. Oh yeah, yeah, this one I'm really Why? excited about. So we got a pickled gravy, we got Italian jardinera pickles, we got pickled eggs, we got pickled herring, we got pickled pig's feet. The what crust, is the thing on top? That's a, is that a nipple? No, it's, a, it's actually a toe of a pig that's been pickled. And then the crust has been infused with kimchi, and then we've actually soaked the crust in the kimchi pickling liquid. Mm. You've soaked the crust in the kimchi pickly wiggly. <laughs> the kimchi pickly wiggly. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a little wet. Do they have kimchi at pickly wiggly? It. No, Probably I can, not. I can, I can put money on that one. Well, let, let's get in there. It let's, doesn't smell like pickle. What does it smell like? It smells like. It smells like death. Pick. Oh, pick we pickled innards. death. Yeah, that's what it was. Oh gosh, that. It smells like you haven't cleaned your fish tank, and then. You're making a decision about whether you're gonna clean it or just what? put it out on the side of the road with a free sign next to it. <laughs> we make that decision every day in Mythical Kitchen. <laughs> I don't know what, I mean, oh, what is that? Uh, it could be herring. <laughs> could be herring. Okay, so we- We, we, we got to create a bite here. We gotta create a bite and we gotta time this out because I'm, I'm not going at this alone and I'm not gonna- uh, There's an onion. Oh, there's a pearl onion. What is that? Oh, that's part of an egg? And there's a, is that a piece of crab or a radish? Uh, it certainly ain't crab. <laughs> so that's part of a pickle, part of an onion, part of a, I gotta find some of this and Here's nasty. a whole pickle I'll just stick on The top. red's the egg. I'm gonna do a chaser with the, with the. Uh, uh, with the pig toe? Yeah, no, it's I'm actually gonna do. the toenail, so just nib, you're supposed to kind of suck the skin off and then spit out the nail. Oh, oh gosh. Look at the freaking toenail of a pig. Oh mm -hmm. no, I don't want to. God. I'm gonna just bite a little bit, and Why? then I'm gonna chase it with a full bite. Why? Why? But I still got a dink in sink. Why? Get your get your pig foot ready, because we need to we need to dink ah. the pig feet first, and then <coughs> come on, you guys, you're starting right, you're starting on the wrong foot here, Neil. You gotta you you yeah, gotta. It's a pig's foot. You gotta put your brave face on. Put your brave face on. I need to get a little bit of that gherkin. I put a whole gherkin. I thought the, I think the gherkin is my salvation in this situation. I know that's what. Oh god! All right, so let's do a little dink with this. And what? Dink it. Then take a little nibble to sink it, and then follow it up quick. Here we go. Sink it. And then dink that. Oh, I can't get through. <laughs> it's just not good. Mm. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's very pickly. Mm. Now you you like like pickled meats and crap. Oh, pickled meats and crap. My favorite store. <laughs> the pickling is actually helping quite a bit. It's helping me be able to swallow it against my better instincts. Not that I'm enjoying it. Well, would you enjoy it if I told you the last ingredient was pickled love? If you tell somebody you put pickled love in something, they're probably gonna call the police. <laughs> you already got it down. Well, I've been chewing the whole time you've been yapping. <clears throat> okay, well, hold on, now let's really give it a chance. I, well, I did. Uh, I mean, it's uh, in my belly, man. How much more of a chance do you want to give it? Okay, pickles. Will it pop pie? No! no! Of course not. I mean, just based on scent alone. This is just. Yeah, we need to then to put that outside. Oh yeah, I'm afraid what it might attract. You need to hermetically seal that. Thanks but you know what? You know. And now you don't have to right. taste it. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Kelsey. I'm Amy. We live in Tennessee, we just voted. It's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Thank you for that. Click the top link to watch us guess the punchlines for pie chart memes and good mythical more. And to find out where the wheel of mythicality is gonna land. Ketchup is a smoothie. Yeah, I put ice in my cereal, so what? That makes no sense. A hot dog is a sandwich. A hot dog is a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> what?